Vacaville, California. What are the pros and cons? While Vacaville has so much to offer, there are also some items that you really need to consider if you're thinking about making the move. So today I'm gonna to walk you through my three top pros and cons to help you decide whether Vacaville is the right move for you. Let's get started. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica Monroe, I'm a realtor in the Bay Area and I specialize in Solano County. I'm gonna jump right into the pros, but make sure you stick around for the cons. It's really good information that you need to know. Pro number one, several desirable neighborhoods and developments. Vacaville has a really beautiful mixture of new construction developments as well as more established neighborhoods. Most folks are sure to find a home style that suits them as well as a home within their budget. Currently, most homes on market in Vacaville range from the low 600,000s to the mid 700,000s. However, there are a handful of ranch style, smaller homes, 1,100 to about 1,400 square feet that hover in the 500,000 range. Some popular neighborhoods include Browns Valley, which features both well-established developments as well as newer construction, Meadowlands, which features single-story, tri-level, and two-story homes, typically on 5,500 to 7,500 square foot lots with RV parking. Meadowlands is a more established neighborhood. There's also several new construction developments, such as Wild Hawk at Roberts Ranch and Bristow. Wild Hawk features single and two-story homes. There's walking trails and wetlands and parks. Bristow features single and two-story homes, ranging all the way up to 3,300 plus square feet. Vacaville is also unique compared to a lot of neighboring cities because you can find custom homes in rural settings on lots spanning several acres. Vacaville is definitely going to give you that small town feel. So if you're looking for a true suburban setting with easy access to large cities, Vacaville might be a great option for you. Pro number two, access to amenities and overall livability. Vacaville is arguably Solano County's most convenient city when referencing access to shopping and restaurants. And Vacaville was actually named in the top 10 small cities according to Smart Assets 2019 survey, which featured the most livable small cities in America. Vacaville has everything from Nut Tree Plaza, which features several retailers and restaurants. There's Vacaville Premium Outlets, there's Costco, Nuggets, Sprouts, there's County Market, which features Asian ingredients and cuisine. For restaurants, there's Merchants and Mains in downtown Vacaville, serving really juicy steaks, fresh seafood and pasta. If you're in the mood for sushi, there's Hisui, which serves hibachi as well as all-you-can-eat sushi. There are several Thai bistros. There are over 19 Mexican restaurants. Nightlife is a little bit lacking in Vacaville, but every other meal is definitely covered. Pro number three, outdoor activities, open spaces, and incredible scenery at your fingertips. Vacaville's Mediterranean climate really allows its residents to enjoy the outdoors year round. There's Peña Adobe and Lagoon Valley Park, which spans 470 acres of undisturbed hiking and biking trails. There's the Lagoon Lake. There are a variety of different trails to meet every skill level. There's a flat loop that wraps around the lake. There are several winding trails through the hills with spectacular views. Lagoon Valley Park also features a large dog park and disc golf. There's Browns Valley Open Space, which is just as it sounds, wide expansive land featuring beautiful hilltop trails and spectacular views, as well as basalt boulders, which are popular among rock climbers. There's also Andrews Park, which is conveniently located near downtown. It's about 17 acres, offering a large play structure, plenty of shade, and it's really famous for its year round events including the Creek Walk Concert Series, which begins every summer from 6.30 to 9.30, beginning of June to the beginning of August. You may have to bundle up just a bit in the winter and make sure you're well hydrated and you stay cool in the summertime, but Vacaville has so much to offer its residents as far as outdoor activities and fun. Moving on to the cons. Con number one, Vacaville houses a California state prison directly off of Peabody Road and across from the Foxborough neighborhood. 
Now it's really well concealed. It's set way back from the street. It's hidden behind lots of foliage and palm trees. You'd actually have to look for it. It's definitely not an eyesore. You as a buyer would just have to determine whether or not you felt comfortable living in a neighborhood that has close proximity to the prison. Foxborough has remained incredibly popular, especially in today's market. Sellers have not felt a negative impact as far as home values. Buyers surely have not been deterred. I always encourage my clients to think about resale value. So if they're ever trying to sell in a buyer-friendly market, keep in mind buyers have the ability to really scrutinize a home and its location, so it could potentially pose a challenge for future resale. Con number two, parts of Vacaville fall into moderate and high risk severity zones for fires. This is not specific to Vacaville, it's actually all Californians that have to face this as a new reality, unfortunately. There are areas of Vacaville that fall into a low risk zone. There are also areas that fall into a moderate and a high severity zone. It's important that you do your homework and your due diligence. Go onto the City of Vacaville website and pull up the map to make sure that the neighborhoods you're searching in are within your comfort zone. I'd also chat with an insurance broker or an insurance agent to make sure that commanding homeowners insurance is going to be affordable and it's not going to be marked a high risk or high severity zone. Con number three would be traffic and commuting. If you're considering moving to Vacaville and commuting to East Bay or San Francisco, you're in for a real commitment. Travel times can near two hours each way. And if you're trying to do that Monday through Friday, you really need to consider your quality of life. If you're commuting just once or twice a week, perhaps that's tolerable. There's also public transportation, which can take the stress away from driving, but there's just no way around the commitment of time. If you're commuting to Sacramento, that's a lot more tolerable. Average times are 45 to an hour. Vacaville actually houses a lot of employment opportunities with Amazon, Kaiser Permanente, Genentech, Travis Air Force Base. There's a chance moving out there you can find employment and have little to no commute at all. Check out my video, Most Desirable Neighborhoods of Vacaville to get a better sense of home styles and current house prices. If you have specific questions or would like to chat about working together, please feel free to reach out to me at ericamonroe.com. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.